Okay, so I just want to demonstrate this speed out method of removing um, broken bolts or stripped out bolts or screws. Um, let's see how it works. Most projects end up being longer than I want them to, but um, it comes with the speed out comes with a uh, little case that gives you different size bits for uh, removing bolts. And I've got a stripped out um, torque head bolt in here that I need to get out. So what they say to do is to size the bit that you want. This looks like the right size that I need to uh, use. And first use the A side, which is the drill portion of the bit. And then once it's drilled out, you flip it and put in the uh, part that's supposed to back it out. Now, apparently, you're supposed to operate the uh, drill on it the reverse direction. So, you want to go backwards with it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and uh, drill this out a little bit and then see if we can get it to back out. So, put the, the drill on reverse. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Try to get it as square as possible. See, I drilled that out a little bit, and I'm going to just flip the uh, bit. I'm going to just kind of go slow with the speed here, see if I can back this out. I did put some WD-40 in here in an attempt to uh, loosen up the bolt, and we'll see if we can get the, the bolt to back out. So that's not working, so we're going to drill it out a little bit more. That is as much as I can get the bit to drill out. Let me actually see if I can step it up a side, make it a little bit snugger. Uh, yeah, let's see. Don't know about that. Oh, we'll try it. Yeah. So far, it's much unsuccessful. Uh, try the uh, going up to the larger bit maybe. Again you want to use the A side to drill it out again. Actually, before I even do that I kind of widened it out with the other one. I'll see if that's any snugger in there. Yeah. I think it's just going to end up widening it out and not working, but we'll give it a try. One more time. Let's see. That's just spinning in there. So I think what we're going to have to do is try to just drill that out. Maybe get a left-handed bit in there once we get it drilled out a bit. All right, so what I've done now is I uh, just got the smallest drill bit I could find, trying to uh, just drill it out straight in the center as much as I can, and then I'm going to try to put one of those uh, speed out bits in. Really dripping in there. Huh. Let's see if 
can get one of these to snug up in there. Well, that, that's kind of snug. So, I'm going to keep the bit in reverse and see if I can't back it out. Wow. Well, I think what happened was the... Uh, bit sheared off. I'm just going to keep going with that. Just keep drilling out as much as I can. Okay, so that speed out brought out half this, the bolt, but half of it's still in there. So what I'm going to try to do is drill this out without destroying any of the threads. I don't have to retap it. Right. So, again, what I'm trying to do is uh, get that to back the threads out. With these bits, once again, you want to go in reverse and go slow. Hoping that this bit is a little smaller than the threads. So I can just get those to back out, back out of there. Without destroying the threads, would be nice. We will see. Uh. Okay, it started to come out starting to come out. Threads are starting to back out of there. Again, reverse. Almost out, I think. I can drill some more. Okay, probably the last opportunity I'll get to get it out. Looks like it's coming though. Right, I don't know if you can see that. 
that, but looks like I got it out. And so what I did was end up drilling in to the uh, the bolt head, and uh, eventually I was able to get as I put the uh, speed out in in reverse, I was able to get it to bite enough to back that bolt out. It looks like the threads are still going to be good, so I would say that's a success. Not exactly how it was described, but it was in there tight, so a little surprised I got it out in one piece. So that's uh, just a demonstration on how to get some stubborn bolts, very stubborn bolts out on a speed out. This is my uh, 2004 Skidoo MXZ Renegade. Had a frozen bolt.